Hello, my name is Hubert Christopher Maxwell. My goal is to be the greatest artist of my generation. When I say artist, I mean that in the most creative form possible because there are people who work jobs and careers and then there are people who understand there is art in everything from cooking to music to building all the way to politics and everything in between. I shall become one of the great artists in history like the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Sean Carters, and the Napoleon Bonapartes. The path I chose for developing my skill towards mastery has involved developing my intellectual ability so that I can properly find credible resources to help improve my musical, athletic, crafting, negotiating, and speaking skills. While reading chapter one of Robert Greene's book, Mastery, there were quite a few points that I felt could benefit me on my journey to become a master. Returning to my origins is number one on that list. To me, returning to your origins means staying in touch with your innocent child self and remembering what made that person happy. Pursuing the dream that kid had when that person said, I wanna be blank when I grow up. That way you don't lose touch of who you really are. Finding a way directly or indirectly to achieve that dream or at least get close to it. I remember there was about a year and a half in college that I decided not to make music anymore. To not be involved in the process and even keeping a, a fresh air out into the world. I remember the confusion that arose in my life. I remember the unhappiness I felt and not understanding why I was so unhappy. The year prior, I got injured during the track season and was in rehab. My leg had healed, but my mental was still in shock. During my rehab, I had thought maybe I'm not focused enough and had not been as creative as I was before. Slowly easing away, thinking that might have been the source. Not connecting the dots from when I had a great season and was making great music at the same time. Now I was finished with being a student athlete, but still had a year of school left. A friend from high school came to visit me and asked what happened to me and my music, the, the albums and the mixtapes and all the singles I was releasing. Why did I stop? He also said there was something different about me now. I shared with him all the things that I was going through, my injury, my, my broken relationships, my grades were starting to slip, and I had stopped making music at this time. The next day, he got all of his equipment and told me to produce and record because I needed that. Like the Snickers commercial when they say, you are not you when you're hungry. And I was very hungry at this point. I was hungry to create. This brings me to the next point in the book. I believe will help me on help me keep on track. Finding your way back and avoiding the false path. If it wasn't for my dear friend knowing how much I needed to be a creator, I would have I would have continued to search for different avenues that were not right for me in my life. He understood the act of finding ways to mix all of my talents together was what made me successful in all that I could do musically athletically, socially, and mentally. Being able to see how life connects, you know, how all things in life connect. It's like, you gotta take your time when you cook and using your heart, you have to take your time to be great. When you making music, when you're building your strength, you even have to take your time when you're trying to get to know a person. When I get away from the things that give me reason to wake up every day, everything seems to go wrong in my life and into a dour spiral of negativity. This is why my dream is to create a company that will be highly successful for all of the arts. Music, film, art, construction, architecture, athletics, 
I believe a good way to continue to help build that dream is to improve on my design for my website, www.tsunamiflow.com, and to finally uh, acquire my LLC for my Tsunami Flow brand. As long as I continue to grow and build and stay focused, no matter the ups and downs I go through, I know with time I shall become a master and the master I desire to be, a master of a ceremony, master of the ceremony. <laughs>